everybody, it's Mel. Thank you so much for joining me today for my Roll of Reads Readathon TBR. So, coming up in March, I am running a readathon based on my TBR game Roll of Reads. The idea is that you join me in playing the game. I have created a whole new lot of prompts for this round. All of the information that you will need is in the announcement video which I have linked for you in the description below, along with the Google Drive which has all of the information that you need to play as well, including a fact sheet. In the fact sheet it goes through gameplay, how to play, what the punishments and rewards mean, how to do those, talks about our co-hosts and gives you information about each individual prompt and each individual punishment and reward so that you know exactly what to do. So if you'd like to get all of the information on how to play, you'd like to join me, then please go ahead and watch the video, check out all the information in the Google Docs, in particular the fact sheet. Also in the Google Docs you will find the giveaway submission form and also the prompts and punishments and reward cards as well. So we do have a giveaway. The way that you enter the giveaway is every single book that you read that is from the TBR and matches up to a prompt, you submit that through the giveaway form and then you will get one entry into the giveaway. If you post a TBR somewhere on social media, including in the Discord, which we do have this year for Roll of Reads as well, there is a channel which is Share Your TBR, so you can share your TBR there in the Discord as well. And then anyone that shares their TBR, whether it be on Instagram, Booktube, TikTok, in the Discord, wherever it might be, will get two entries into the giveaway at the end of the readathon which I'll be announcing in the first few days of April. The Discord is in the description below as well. Please come and join us over there. We're having a lot of fun already and I anticipate getting a lot of fun happening in March as well. We do also have some amazing co-hosts this year as well, which I'm really, really excited about. Your co-hosts for 2024 are, of course, myself. <laughs> also, Meredith from Reading with Merv, Ren from The Reading Ren, Steph from Novelty Corner, Crystal from Bon Book Reviews, Paige from Pages with Paige, Kat from Brews and Reviews, Bethany from Beautifully Bookish Bethany, Kaz from Cats and Camera, and Kara from Wild Book Garden. I really want to say thank you to all those amazing people for agreeing to be part of the readathon. I'm so excited that you've all joined and that we are going to play this readathon together. So thank you all so much. To find out more information about how the host's favourite, which is a prompt as well as various different ways that you can read some of the host's favourite, do check out that announcement video and, like I said, the fact sheet in the Google form. I just want to let you know, also, if you are doing Bookimon, there is a roll of reads themed Bookimon that you can collect. In order to do that, you need to collect a dice and in order to do that, you need to create a TBR and share it on some form of social, including that Discord channel like I mentioned. You also need to read at least two of the books that you choose for your TBR and then that means that you will get that dice which will help you to lure out the Roll of Reads themed Pokemon. So yes, I am going to play now myself. Before I do that though, I'm going to go through and talk to you about some of my mandatory reads um, and different things that I have going on that I need to think about before I do my game. I will have timestamps down below, so if you don't really care about what books I need to read for various book clubs and whatnot and you just want to watch me play the game, then please do feel free to flip <laughs> to move forward and do that. Alright, so I've got my little journal which has all of the different things that I have going on that I need to think about. So the first thing is The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy Read Along. So in March we are reading Life, the Universe and Everything. This is a read along that I am hosting along with some other incredible booktubers. So that is Ren from The Reading Ren, Chelsea from Chelsea Zhao, Ash from Ash's Adventures in Books and Ashley from Ashley's Media Addiction. We are all running 
this Hitchhiker's Read Along. And we started in January with the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and then now we're up to the Life, the Universe, and everything. There's a Discord for that as well. I will link that and the announcement video for the Hitchhiker's Read Along in the description below. So I will need to read the Life, the Universe, and everything at some point in March. I'll try and get it on the TBR, but whether or not I can. It is also Bethany's book club. So Bethany's Patreon book club. There is a book every single month. I've actually completely forgotten what book is March's book, but I will put an image of it here. So yeah, that's another book that I need to read. I'm also trying to do buzzword and for buzzword the prompt for March is a character name in the title so I will need to try and include a book that has a character's name in the title at some point in the TBR or if not it'll have to be an additional so yeah there's that. Then I'm also co-hosting another read-along starting in March. So this is the David Bad Trilogy read-along and I'm co-hosting that with Kim from Expedition Through Pages, Manny from Reading with Manny and Emily from Emily Beth Hall. I will link all of their channels and the announcement video for that read along down below as well if you'd like to join us. I'm also doing Aurelium this year as well, which I have kept forgetting to mention, but I am also doing Aurelium. And in March, I am going to be trying to cut my way through some vines, which means that I need to read a book that's in in the middle of a series, neither the beginning or the end. So hopefully I can find something that fits that as well. And then also I need to do my reread. So this year I'm doing a reread project and every single month I'm going to spin a spinner wheel and decide what book I'm going to be reading, rereading for that month. So editing mail will pop in the book that I need to read for that and hopefully it will fit in but I don't know what it is yet so I should have done that already but unfortunately that is on my phone and my phone is all set up to film the rolls for Roll of Reads so it'll have to be an additional I think unfortunately but there you go. I need to do for roll of reads is I need to set up the board and then I need to roll my d8 to decide how many rolls of the d20 I have to do and then yeah we'll just keep going with that. So let's see how we go. Hopefully some of these will fit in and yeah we'll just we'll just see how we go basically. <laughs> All right so I will shuffle the cards. I have shuffled these already but I'll give them another shuffle as well. the d8 six okay we are rolling six times and I have my replacement cards here my rewards and my punishments there okay so just a quick recap of how we play the game so we have the board which you've seen because I've set everything up we have numbers 1 through 20 on the grid because this is loosely based on Dungeons and Dragons I have to roll a d20 whatever number I roll I then pick up the card and there's a prompt on that card and then I have to do that prompt to determine what book I'm going to read for that prompt if I roll a 1 because in D&D if you roll a 1 then that's not very good. <laughs> then I have to have a punishment card so I'll need to pick up a punishment card and do whatever it says on the punishment card and then if I roll a 20 then that is an excellent roll in D&D. It doubles your damage, it does all sorts of amazing things. So if that happens I get to pick up a reward card and do whatever it is on the reward card. If I roll the same number three times that's also a punishment and I need to pick up a punishment card for that as well. So yeah we are going now to do the rolls. All right, roll number one. 
is a 12. A pretty cover. Okay. Replace that. All right. So we got a pretty cover. I have quite a few things I could pick for that, so bear with me and let's see what I can find. I'll okay, be right for back. pretty cover, I decided to go with Starling House by Alex E. Harrow. This one is about opal. Um, I'll just read the blurb to you. <laughs> Nobody in Eden remembers when Starling House was built, but the town agrees it's best to let this ill-omened house and its last lonely heir go to hell. Opal knows better than to mess with haunted houses or brooding men. But when an opportunity to work there arises, the money might get her brother out of Eden. Starling House is uncanny and full of secrets. Like Arthur, it's air. It also feels strangely, dangerously, like something she's never had, a home. Yet Opal isn't the only one interested in the horrors and wonders that lie buried beneath it. And when dark forces converge on Eden, Opal realizes that if she wants a home, she'll have to fight for it. She may even have to go down deep down beneath Starling House to claw her way back into the light. So it sounds really, really fun, really interesting. It sounds a little bit of a kind of horror type mystical book, which is something I'm very intrigued about. I love Alex A. Harrow's writing style. I have read two books from her and absolutely adored both of them. So I'm very, very keen to get to this. This was given to me by my friend Michelle for Christmas. So yeah, I would love to give it a read in March. All right, that was roll number one. Let's go ahead and do roll number two. A 20, a reward, all right. Pick up the prompt, replace it, and pick up the reward. Okay, so as you just saw, I got the 20. So that means that I get a reward. So I'm going to look at both cards and we'll see what we decide. So first of all, the prompt on the number 20 was trans non-binary rep. Replace any prompt with a mood read. So this is my reward. So I think I am going to put this to one side and I will use that if I end up with a prompt that I don't particularly want to use. I'm quite happy to go with trans non-binary rep. Uh, so trans or non-binary rep. I'm actually going to read a book by a trans author and that is A Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. This is a book that I have been interested in reading for a while. It came up in January as an option because I actually got the same prompt in January and I didn't get around to reading it. So it's something that I'm very interested in. I know I can borrow it from the library. I believe it is a dark academia style book, but let's see what Goodreads has to say. Felicity Morrow is back at Dalloway School. Perched in the Catskill Mountains, the centuries-old ivy-covered campus was home until the tragic death of her girlfriend. Now, after a year away, she has returned to graduate. She even has her old room in Good Godwin House, the exclusive dormitory rumoured to be haunted by the spirits of the Dalloway students. Girls some say were witches. The Dalloway Five all died mysteriously one after one another right on Godwin grounds. But yeah, so it's about two women who are at the school and I guess trying to figure out what's going on but it sounds really interesting I have heard quite mixed things about it but it does sound interesting and it's another beautiful cover so I'm definitely keen to give it a try so that was roll number two let's now do roll number three all right roll number three an 11 set somewhere you've been all right Set somewhere I've been. That is the prompt that I just picked up, as you saw. So I need to have a bit of a think about this one. I will be back in a minute. If you can hear a cat complaining in the background, that is poor little pistachio. She had to go to the vet. Poor pistachio. So anyway, moving back to the TBR, I ended up deciding to go with... A book that I just realized does not work. <laughs> All right, so it did take me a little while to figure out what book to pick for this one, but I decided to go with Identity Crisis by Ben Elton. This is set in London, I believe. They usually are. His books are often set in London. So I believe this is set in London. 
and I have been to London. <laughs> I wanted to try and get one of my self-destruct books on here and this is one of the books on my self-destruct for 2024. I will link that video in the description below as well so if you want to go and find out what other books I have on there. But yeah I, I'm wanting to try and get to this this year so it might as well go on the TBR but let's see what it says. Why are we all so hostile? So quick to take offence. Truly we are living in the age of outrage. A series of apparently random murders draws amiable old school detective Mick Matlock into a world of sex, politics and reality TV and a bewildering, bewildering kaleidoscope of opposing identity groups. Lost in a blizzard of hashtags, his already complex investigation is further impeded by the fact that he simply doesn't get a single thing about anything anymore. Meanwhile, each day another public figure confesses to having misspoken and pro prostrates themselves before the judgment of Twitter. Begging for forgiveness, assuring the public, that is not who I am. But if nobody is who they are anymore, then who the fuck are we? So yeah, we'll see. I've enjoyed Ben Elton's books in the past, so we'll see how we go. Alright, let us do roll number four. Okay, roll number four is a ten. Pet pick. Uh -huh. Alright, alright, we might do that at the end. So as you just saw I got pet pick and I might leave that for the moment and do that at the end because I think that would be easier but yeah we'll do that one. Um, so I'll show you what I'm going to do at the end so I'll just move straight on to roll number five. Okay roll number five is a 12. Oh I forgot to replace that card. Um, that is our second 12, so hopefully we don't get a third 12. Alright, so we got book battle for num our fifth roll. So, let's see. I will be back. Okay. My two books are behind me on the shelves, but they're not sitting very well, so that's better. Okay, so. I do want to read both of these books but I don't necessarily want to read both of these books in March. So the book that I have selected as a book I do want to read I decided to go with my one of my mandatory reads which is City of Brass which is the first in the Daverbad trilogy. This one said we might read it when we figure out if we're going to read it. Then we have Court of Silver Flames. Now this is a book I do also want to read but it is huge. Look at the size of this thing. It is 700 and 50 pages long and I'm currently in the middle of reading Crescent City number three House of Flame and Shadow. I'm anticipating that that will continue into March so I don't necessarily want to be reading another giant Sarah J Mass book. So those are the two choices. This is what I want, this is what I don't necessarily want. Let's see how we go. All right. So I'm going to roll over on top of the board. Just realised I hadn't replaced the cards, so we'll do that. All right, so first roll is for what I want, City of Brass. Second roll is for what I don't want, Court of Silver Flames. City of Brass got a six, so we could be in trouble here. Twelve for Court of Silver Flames. Looks like I'm reading Court of Silver Flames. So the dice has spoken. And I'm going to be picking up this chunker in March. Don't know how we're going to go. I don't know that I'm going to get to it, but let's see. <laughs> I do need to read this in March as well, so we'll see how we go. So that was a number 12. If I get another number 12, then I'll have to do a punishment. And of course, if I get a one. But this is last roll, so I could be in the clear. Let's see. All right, roll number six, last roll. 16. Awesome. Favourite genre. Okay, so I got favourite genre. I like a lot of different genres, so I feel like this is probably... Yeah, I do like a lot of different genres, so it's a little bit tricky, but I think my favourite realistically is probably fantasy, which means I can pick City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty for this one, which is fantastic because it's a mandatory read. So on the back it says, In the markets of 18th century Cairo. Thieves, tricksters, con artists and outcasts eke out a living, swindling rich nobles and foreign invaders alike. Hello pistachio. But alongside this new world, the old stories linger. Tales of jinn and spirits, of cities hidden among the swirling sands of the desert, full of enchantment, desire and riches, where magic pours down every street, hanging in the air like dust. 
Many wish their lives could be filled with wonder, but not Nari. She knows the trades she uses to get by are just tricks and sleights of hand. There's nothing magical about her. She only wishes to one day leave Cairo, but as the saying goes, be careful what you wish for. So I'm really excited about this one. Okay, so I still need to do pet pick. So how am I going to do that? All right, so I've chosen these four books to, for Peanut to choose from. So we have Opium and Absinthe by Lydia Kang, which is one of the books that is on my self-destruct for this year. Then we have A Study in Drowning by Ava Britt. The Bookbind of Jericho by Pip Williams. And Atalanta by Jennifer Saint. So let's pop some biscuits on the books and we'll see which one Peanut picks. Peanut! Peanut, do you want to... Which book are you going to take? Mm -hmm. Alright, A Study in Drowning. I thought she was going to go for the closest one, so she went for A Study in Drowning. Good job, Peanut. So as you just saw, Peanut chose A Study in Drowning by Ava Reed for us, for me even. <laughs> so what it says on the blurb, Effie has always believed in fairy tales. She's had no choice. Since childhood, she's been haunted by visions of the Fairy King and found solace only in the pages of Angarat, Emrys Muradin's beloved epic about a mortal girl who falls in love with the Fairy King and then destroys him. Effie's tattered copy is all that's keeping her afloat through her stifling first term at her prestigious architecture college. So when the late author's family announces a contest to redesign his house, Effie feels certain this is her destiny. But Hyreth Manor is an impossible task, a musty, decrepit estate on the brink of crumbling into a hungry sea. And when Effie arrives, she finds she isn't the only one who's made a temporary home there. Preston Hellery, a stodgy young literature scholar, is studying Meriden's papers and is determined to prove her favourite author is a fraud. As the two rival students investigate the reclusive author's legacy, piecing together clues through his letters, books and diaries, they discover that the house's foundation isn't the only thing that can't be trusted. There are dark forces both moral, mortal and magical, conspiring against them. And the truth may bring them both to ruin. So I think this one sounds incredible as well. This was sent to me by Paige for Christmas. So thank you so much, Paige. I'm very excited to get to it. Okay, so those were all the roles. That was the game. Let's quickly go through all the books that I need to read in Arch. So for the TBR, first of all, we got Pretty Cover. So for this, I chose Starling House by Alex E. Harrow. Then I got Trans Non-Binary Rep. And for this one, I chose A Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. Then I got Set Somewhere You've Been. And for that, I chose Identity Crisis by Ben Elton. Then I got Pet Pick and Peanut helped us pick this one. And we got A Study in Drowning by Ava Reed. Then I got The Book Battle and The Book Battle picked out A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas. And then I got Favourite Genre and for this one I chose The City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. So this is my TBR but I also need to read Life, the Universe and Everything. I'd also really like to participate in Bethany's Book Club so for that one I need to read The Good House by Tanareev Du. For Aurelium, Life, the Universe and Everything will work for that. So I'll just read that because I have to read it anyway. And then Buzzword, I don't think, no, I don't have any books here that will fit the Buzzword because Buzzword is a character's name in the title. So Hello, it's editing mail here. You will no doubt have noticed that actually my reread that I spun for is Ariadne and Ariadne is the name of the main character in that story. So yeah, I'm just popping in to let you know that I was about to tell you about a different book, but it will be Ariadne instead. Um, All right. And then I think that's everything that I need to read. But yeah, that's everything that I needed to talk to you about today. That is my TBR. That those are all the roles. Uh, like I keep saying, all the information for the readathon is listed below, so please go and check all that out. I'd love it if you would join me, so I'd please consider doing that. Please check out all of my incredible co hosts. Thank you all so much. They are amazing, so please go and subscribe to all of them. Join myself and my co hosts for my two read longs that I'm running in March as well. But yeah, I think that's everything. So, 
Please comment below what you thought of the video, if you're going to join in. Are there any particular books that you would really like me to read, Are you that you're most excited about? Let me know all of that in the comments below. If you'd like to leave me a comment that you don't know what, then leave me some kind of dice emoji because we need to get the dice in order to lure out the Pokemon. We are using dice. There are dice on the cards, etc. All of my social media details, and like I said, the details for everybody and everything I've talked about is in the description below. Please go and follow me on all of my other social media if you would like to. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, like I said, thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.